bristle brushes will just take this huge load of paint, right? And, and it's just easier to get that depth of texture that I'm after. So good question. I, I, I find that bristle brushes really lend themselves to painting, painting sheep. Even just the rougher, you know, they're, you know, all the, the bones and the hair and the wool, all of it, the uh, bristle brushes tend to do a really good job. Okay, so now it's time to incorporate that a little bit. Viridian, transparent oxide red, more viridian, transparent oxide red. <clears throat> and I'm just going to put a stroke along. Now I'm painting a lot of wet paint over, um, a lot of wet paint over dry paint, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, this is the fun part. This is the part where we get all these sort of incidental little shapes and textures, mm -hmm. right? And if you paint only wet into wet, you won't get some of the things that we're getting now. So I have to be careful. So I'm taking more of this dark. I don't want the nose angle transition here to compete with the lightest light on her eye sock over there, right? So I'm just smoothing that out now with this darker viridian and um, viridian and transparent oxygen red mixture. But I do really like where this is going, that buildup of paint, because this is a bone that sticks forward, right? Like we have to have the feeling that if we reached out and touched it, there would be that skull underneath, right? So that's what I'm looking for. 